Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to remove the side fairings on the X20 here. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to get them behind there. One of the major reasons you're going to want to get them behind a, a side fairing like that is to uh, look at your wiring or your carburetor, um, things like that. So this bike usually has an air box on it, but now I've taken the air box off because we put a nippy carb on it. It's not going to really affect taking the the, um, the fairings off uh, but I just wanted to let you know if, if you do see something a little bit different on your X20 it's because this one has the upgraded carb on it so uh, I'm just going to get uh, my camera set up and grab my tools here and uh, we'll head to the side and start taking the fairing off okay so all you're really going to need to do this is you're going to need a 10 mil uh, socket and you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver um, and also you're going to need a bolt tray just something to put all your bolts and nuts and stuff in Now, this side is a little bit different. It's, it's nothing crazy. It's just this one has the, the lock on it for the seat. That's why I want to do this side so I can show you how to remove the lock um, also. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is uh, take the seat off. So that's pretty basic. I'm just gonna go to the key lock right here. Turn it, pull up the back, get that seat's gonna pop right off. Put it out of the way. Then I'm gonna put my keys back in my ignition. Now this one has the title and all that stuff underneath the seat. That's usually where I like when I'm riding too. I like to keep my ownership and my uh, my insurance papers and my license and everything is under the seat. Um, most times, uh, I, anytime I've got pulled over on a motorcycle, as soon as I tell them, oh yeah, yeah no problem, I just have to get off because everything's under the seat. Um, unless I've been doing something crazy, like speeding really bad, or, or just, you know what I mean, just making a, a, a nuisance of myself, they'll usually just let me go as soon as I say that. They'll just say, oh yeah, yeah no problem, and I, I'm back on the road. Um, but if you're speeding or doing trek rides and stuff like that, that's not gonna work. But most times, if you're just, uh, they're just checking stuff, uh, and you tell them, let them know, yeah, my ownership and my license and everything's under the seat. I just have to get off my bike. They'll usually just let me go. Because um, it just takes time, right? So most, like I said, most times they're, they're good. But if you're doing any sort of stunting or anything like that, you're going to have to pull out your license and your ownership and all that stuff. So uh, let's get started. Remember my bolt tray. So the first thing I'm going to remove is this bearing right here and that's so i can get to the bolt behind this one i see this one's kind of sideways i don't know why but i want to see why it uh looks like it went in there cross threaded or something but we're going to fix that if you come across a bolt like that i'll show you how to fix it too so uh let's get our bolt tray up here and we'll start taking off the fairing here we're going to need a 10 mil And you're gonna to need to remove your Phillips screw right here. Like that. Now that fairing is ready to come off. So to pull this fairing off here, you just gotta work it off of there. And then just kind of wiggle it off the snaps here. Oh, you got, sorry. You got one little Phillips screw in behind here. Goodness. So it's just right in behind here. And then there's two snaps there. Hold it in place. Okay. That should just come right off like that then. gentle with your fairings try not to leave them laying on the floor where somebody could kick them or scratch them or bang them or step on them so now we can start removing the rest of the fairings but i, I want to show you what i was talking about to that bolt 
kind of went in cross-threaded there. It's not really, looks like it doesn't really look like it's holding much if it's even in there. So we're gonna take that out. Again, that's just a 10 mil. And then there's another Phillips screw that goes on from the bottom. There's this Phillips screw right here we're gonna have to remove. And then there's some in the front. So let's take our uh, our bolts off. I don't, like I said, I don't think that bolt's really holding anything. Doesn't look like it threaded into anything at all. So we'll just, yeah, that, that wasn't grabbing anything. Because the threads aren't, and the bolt aren't even messed up. <clears throat> so we'll just have to make sure that that gets put on right. Okay, I'm gonna come down here. And we'll just drop that right on the ground. And we'll start. There we go. That's why I like to keep a bolt tray. It's so when I do drop bolts, I just took this one out and it fell down. Um, I can find them right away. Remove this one. come down here and we're going to remove the screws on the back side Those screws here so down here right here and right here all have to be removed I'm going to start my bottom ones and work my way up Now I should be able to just pop this around or move it around. It, there's just snaps. You just have to make sure that you pop the snaps out. And I'll show you what I mean. It might seem like it's really on there tight, but it's not. Just, you just have to pull these snaps out, and it, it just takes a sec to give them a pull. But you don't want to break anything, so you want to be very gentle when you're doing it. I'm going to look down there. There are two screws that I forgot to remove. right here and right here. There we are. Okay. Now this fairing is almost ready to come off. There's one screw at the back that has to come off and then this fairing will come off and then we can take the lock off. So there's a screw, in, a screw, I'm sorry, right up underneath here. Did you have to get to? And then our fairing is right off. And all you have to do now is all that holds this um, seat clamp on is this uh, clip right here. 
but if you don't have to remove it, you can literally just slide the cable up and out and then take it right off the lock. Just be easier if I had a set of pliers. There we go. And then just move the cable around until you find the little niche right there. Like that, and it just pops right out. And then we have our fairing off. And we'll just set it in the so it doesn't get cracked or broken. And we can take a look at the side of our bike, see if there's anything uh, we want to fix. Something I would do, I'm probably gonna do, now that I have this off, is I'm going to uh, catch up some of these little black spots that are getting some rust. I'll give them a little quick scuff and I'll just hit them with a little quick shot of spray paint while it's off. Um, I would rather do that than have, uh, than have it just sitting there and keep rusting and rusting and rusting. So I'm just gonna clean that up really fast and uh, I'll touch that up with paint. Again, you see down here too where the motor mount is, a little bit of rust. These are exposed places where you're going to get a little bit of water sometimes. It just splashes up. Like this bike has been ridden. It's not something that we just uh, keep as a showpiece. So we do ride this machine, right? So um, you are going to want to definitely, definitely, definitely uh, touch that up and, uh, and then get that cleaned up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to touch up every little spot. I see some rust and I will be right back. All right. So I painted, cleaned all that up. Now I can put my fairing back on. Alrighty, so here's my fairing. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my seat block back on it, the exact same way I took it out. Just put my cable, wrap it around, lift up, and push down the little spare, the little clasp into place. There we go, and that's perfect. Now, I can put my fairing back where it belongs. Oh, I want that cable to actually run up on that channel. And just like that. And then I can do this with it. Then you just put your clips in right there at the tank. Make sure you're over your little lip. that and then just push the clips in once you're uh, at that position there we go and then once you push it in them clips where they belong it should hold it in place just like that if we step back and raise up a bit you can see my fairing is held in place just from the clips so those clips are holding it exactly where i want them to so now what i'm going to do i'm going to put my front screws in right here and right here and they're just Phillips screws and they'll hold the back part in. And if you have a hard time lining them up, all you have to do is just pinch this together and you'll see the clips right behind and you can screw them in. I can see my other screw clip right there. Just hold it from behind and screw it in. Just like that. Now I can go along and I can put my other screws all along on the inside of the fairing. So let's go ahead and put those in. And then and just two more here. Ready? So that's all my screws up in the front. Now I can put uh, my screw up through here from the back. I 
just have to screw that up there like that. And I notice that my fairing is broken in one spot right here. You see that? That little piece right there just fell off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it completely off. Make sure it's in the right position. And I'm going to glue that on with a little bit of crazy glue. And then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll, I'll fix that right there. So I don't have to put that tab in right away. Now, normally I could just replace the, the fairing. But if I do this right, and I leave it set overnight, it'll be fine. Um, and tomorrow I can put my grommet back in. There we go. But like I said, usually I would just change the fairing, but this is a shop bike. This is a bike that we poke around on and play with. So I don't really need to change it. But when I put my 10 mil bolts back in here, I'm gonna make sure it's straight this time. So it actually catches in the threads like it's supposed to. Just like that. There, and that's perfect, just like that. And I have my bottom one. Has to go in. And that's it. And now I just have my back fairing to go on. Now, when I put this fairing on, I'm probably not gonna go ahead and, and do everything to put it on because um, I actually want to, uh, oh, I guess I could go ahead and put it on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this guy's gonna go up underneath there and then I got a screw to put in right here, a little short one. I'm gonna go ahead and put my screw in first. Now I can go down, put this in place here. And that clips in there and then your big long screw goes in the back right at the top here just like that and I'm gonna put my bolt in right here tighten that down. I'm not going to tighten it down like I said because I'm going to take this fairing off again tomorrow and then you're going to have one more screw left right here and it goes right here. There we go. And that right there guys is how you change the side fairing on your X20.